Paolo today. He's never been groomed before, so he's got long hair. You want a comb with narrow teeth, wider teeth, metal. We'll try to use plastic comb. You want a pair of thinning shears. The uh, narrower teeth, or the more teeth that you have, is going to be um, a finer cut, so it won't show the marks as much. And then just a regular straight shear, and you're going to use the thinning shears a lot more than you use the straight shear. So we're going to do one ear, and then we're going to do one foot, and that will be your lesson. So the first thing you do is comb out the hair so that you make sure there are no mats. When you're, free, when you're mat free, then you can start trimming. So we're going to trim the long hair with thinning shear. I start by taking the ear straight up and down and then bring your thinning shears carefully Trim the ear leather. Carefully trim. Roughly even with the end of the ear leather. And if you have anything to add to this, you're welcome to do it. That's the outside edge that she's trimming of the ear leather. The outside edge with the long shaggy hairs on it. That noise in the background is a little poodle and oh, not oh, Apollo oh. being cut. It's a little poodle down below him. Good. After you trim that, comb it again, look at your trim line. So he still needs a little more trimming there. Good boy. Good boy. Now I do this with straight shears. Cass does it with thinning shears. I start with straight shears, lob it all off, and then I come back with thinning shears. Either way will work. Probably a good way to start is with the thinning shears. Always checking after you get him trimmed. Now I'm going to trim the hair forward on the front edge of his ear. Straight up and down. A little bit of the inside. Good boy. You're doing really good. He is being good yeah, for never having been right. on a grooming yeah. table. Yeah, this is much easier to do on a grooming table with an arm, obviously. You can get a grooming, an inexpensive grooming table and arm. There's an arm that he's attached to in the grooming table on eBay. There's some inexpensive ones that are, are worth having for your needs. You know, gives you a grooming table to use that will probably work beautifully for you. All right, so his ear looks pretty good now. Not done yet, but pretty good. And now we've got all this stuff inside his ear. Between kind of, his ear and his cheek. Yeah, un yeah, underneath it and inside. So, yeah. so I'm going to pull his ear out of the way and going straight up and down. Hang on a second. The um, thinning shear is going, pointing towards the ceiling. I'm just going to clip. He thinks it's nice that you got so close to him. <laughs> and then come back in with my comb. See how much we got out of there. You're just doing a little bit at a time until you get the look that you want. Okay, so I'm going to take more out because we're going to show him tomorrow. So we want this to be as neat as possible. Good boy. <clears throat> Good. And so now I'm just coming in and neatening up the edge that I already did. Okay. So the final thing I'm going to do is take that comb, comb that hair straight up, and then come in flat against the ear leather, tips pointing towards his head, and 
and I'm just going to take out a little bit of, uh, hello, come back, a little bit of the long fluffies. Yeah, she's going underneath in this cut, so she's going down to the ear leather and underneath like someone would thin your hair, as opposed to the edges where she was going along and cutting the hair off of the edge. So she's going with the grain of the hair, with the growth of the hair, and going underneath. So she's laying the scissors underneath where you can't see the blades. And that takes out the thickness while still leaving the feathers. So it just makes it neat. Okay, so that would be perfectly fine for a pet dog. We're going to do a little bit more touch-up on him, but I'm going to move to his feet so that you can see that. So you can use your comb and just pick up the foot gently. Try not to torque in a direction it doesn't actually go in. You take your comb and just comb up the hair between the toes. You'll get a neater cut with the thinning shears, and you just come across the very top of the foot, a fraction of an inch above the actual paw, and trim that hair. Okay, now I'm going to take my thumb, push the hair down through the pads. Alright, first of all, that's what you can see. Just that little bit with the thinning shears. That's out what it did. See the difference between these two feet already. Now I'm going to take my straight shears and I'm going to pick his foot up and angle it back behind him. And I'm going to trim Sorry. the hair. <laughs> Even with his pads, be really careful that you don't cut the pads with these straight shears. So I, I push up a little bit with my index finger to get the part that I want. Make a trim on everything here. Don't get too crazy on this. And then when I put his foot back down, if I've got any overlapping around the outside, I'm just going to come and just trim that even with his toes. Trimming the feet helps to keep a lot of the dirt out of your house and that's why it's very valuable. Okay, ear trimming, foot trimming. Comb out the body, making sure to get up in the feathers, both uh, front leg feathers and rear leg feathers, and the ruff and the tail. And then he's ready to go in the tub.